We are following some breaking news here. Purdue University President Mitch Daniels has announced that he's retiring and Purdue has already named his successor. Now this isn't happening immediately. Dustin Grove joins us live from Lafayette tonight where he's learned more about who's replacing Daniels and when. Hi Dustin. Hey, good evening, Felicia. We learned this afternoon that Mitch Daniels toward, told Board of Trustees uh, members back in April that he planned to retire at the end of the year, and that became official this afternoon during a Board of Trustees meeting. After the news broke, Governor Eric Holcomb, among, among other dignitaries, praised Daniels for uh, some of the things he's done over his last decade at the helm at Purdue here. He's really uh, made national headlines for touting college affordability, repeatedly freezing tuition. He oversaw the creation of Purdue Global, the national online university, and growing research and private sector partnerships. President Daniels said today, though, this really shouldn't be about him. It should be about the man who will succeed him, and they didn't have to go far to find that person. Dr. Meng Shang is dean of engineering here and executive vice Vice President of Strategic Initiatives at Purdue. We have here a person uniquely um, qualified to capitalize on the investments that we have made over the last decade, hundreds of millions of dollars in uh, new people and facilities and connections and partnerships that I, to which I think his skill set um, is, uh, is so ideally suited. If you think about Purdue's academic reputation, we are the strongest point. Uh, we have uh, record-breaking enrollment, all-time high research excellence, the ever true campaign, the transformed campus, as you can see here. Daniel's decade of uh, tremendous momentum uh, is one to be continued. Dr. Shane came here five years ago from Princeton. He holds 25 patents and has founded three companies, and he also spent 2020 as a science and technology advisor to the U.S. Secretary of State. His term begins in January when President Daniels retires. As for what's next for Daniels, well, we know he can check off uh, executive uh, in the private sector. White House budget director, governor, and university president. He has not said what will be next on that list. We will continue to wait and watch. Felicia and Marie, back to you. All right, Dustin, a lot of people wondering if he has political aspirations. It just doesn't seem like he's just going to yeah. sit back and go fishing, Dustin. Uh, we'll keep an eye on it. Thanks Probably so much. Probably not. <laughs> Probably <laughs> yeah. not. All right, thank you.